Uh, welcome back everybody it's uh, joe here again so uh, video two of interview questions for python if you are uh, going for an interview and you're going to be thinking of be asking questions going to talk about python dictionaries today some of our properties and some of the things you can do with python dictionaries that may come up in the interview so if you're new to the channel welcome um, here's our social media links you can um certainly subscribe there appreciate it. if you do you'll be able to see future videos so i'm going to remove this now and I'm going to go on to the next slide. So today we're going to cover a number of these topics. Um, you can see them on the screen, just going through them quickly. So I'm about Python dictionaries and their properties, how to create an empty dictionary, how do you add values, how do you sort, how do you delete a key, um, how do you delete more than one key from a dictionary, how do you change the name of a key in a dictionary, and the last one is how do you get the minimax keys and values in a dictionary. So a bit to cover, and um, what we'll be also doing is be flipping into the code here of a number of I have a number of um, uh, examples to show you as we go through. So stay with us to the end and you'll see those examples. And um, I hope you enjoy the video. So let's move on to the next slide. So let's look at talk about the, what are the actually some of the questions we come across. And um, some probably the first thing they might be asked is some of the properties. Now, you know, there's probably more than these. Actually, there is more than these, but I just picked out some of the most obvious ones that you may get asked. Um, so you know they're they're mutable. So you can change um, the values with key value pairs within a dictionary, and basically, that's one of the good things about dictionaries is actually because they're mutable, um, you can manipulate it to the way you want it. Okay, um, then grow shrink is required. So you're not restricted in the size of your dictionary. Obviously, the bigger the size, um, you have to think about how to manage it and the values, the key value pairs that you keep in there. But they're not restricted in size. And the last thing that may, or well, sorry, two last, the second last thing is they're unordered. So uh, they're not in any particular order. That's pretty obvious from the statement. So you may have a, a scenario where you may need to sort the key, key value pairs. And we'll be looking at that later on. So it's hanging there. And there was a slide in that and some examples of how to do that. Okay. And the last thing is the case sensitive. So you can have two key value pairs, exactly the same name, but the different case cases on the key values and python will treat those as two separate key value pairs so something to be cons considered that you should be conscious of that you don't want to any if you don't want any duplication um that you basically always keep them at the same um either uppercase or lowercase or a combination of but always keep it consistent so that you're uh, you don't have any duplication within your key value pairs that's what you desire from your output so Moving on, um, let's going to look at the next slide. So essentially, how do you create an empty dictionary? So there's two ways. Um, you can just create a variable and equal to curly brackets, okay, if you're asked this question. Or a set, or alternatively, you can just create a variable and let it equal to the dict uh, function. Um, and there's some. I just have some samples here. So if we look at this. So in this scenario here, we've done this. Um, so it's slide four, just basically for my own records. But basically, these are the empty. We've created it here, and um, basically, then I've printed out here and I printed the uh, put these values here, right? So let me just run this logic, okay? So as you can see there, it's created two empty dictionaries. There's nothing in it, all right. And then obviously as well, I've just printed out the class to show you that what actually is being created, even though it's empty, is a dictionary. So if we go back to the next slide, okay, you maybe then say, so you have your empty dictionary. You may be asked, well, actually, how do you add values to those dictionary? Um, uh, basically, there's a number of ways we're going to show you now back in Python in a second, but essentially you, you can append values. Um, um, so let's have a look at that now, actually, if you don't mind. So let's go to the next slide. So here we are. So here's some examples if you're asked how to, how to go about doing this. So let's look at the logic a bit. And we have an empty, so again, we have two empty dictionaries here. Uh, we're going to use empty dict one, but there you again, you can just create the empty dictionaries as you need them. So the first way to actually add values is actually you can, if this is empty, or you can, even if it's not empty, you could do it this way, as long as they're unique. Um, you can just basically create a new key and assign it a value. So in this scenario, we've created empty dict one, dict one, key one is the key value. And then obviously its actual value is one. And the same for key two is the, the key value. And then its actual value is two. Um, separate to that is um, 
you can just do an update. So if we just run this, I'll show you the second scenario, all right? So in the second scenario, in the first scenario, you can see we've got key key value pairs of key one, one, and key two, two. And then um, in the second scenario, we've added this key three here. So as you can see, we've just used a empty dick one dot update. And what it's basically saying is go in and add in this key three and pair key value pair key three and of a value three and that's this line here okay and then the final way you could do it is you could actually use an if statement and essentially the if statement here is basically checking to see is key four in this empty dict dictionary if it's not added otherwise basically says a key exists so not added and in this scenario we know because it's not there on the second line when we've gone here um, it's basically added in a, a new key value pair of key four and four. Okay, so that is a scenario of how you would add key, va key value pairs um, and explain how you would do it in a interview scenario. So let's go back to the next slide. So we've already looked at create an empty dictionary and how you would add values to the dictionary. So let's look at the next slide. So you want to sort now values. So you may be asked, well, how do you sort values? So there's a couple of ways you can use the sorted method the item methods or you could use list comprehension um so there's three different ways and again um what we do is we we'll go over to python and let's have a look at that so that's here so this scenario here is how, how to sort of uh, python dictionary okay so again we've uh created an empty dictionary but what we've done here again like we did in the last slide we've just added values so those three values have been added Okay, we'll actually run this slide here. Okay, um, we've added the values and then basically what you've had here is in this first couple of lines is you're basically, we've basically, they're unsorted. So you can see they're key two, key one, and key three. So they're, what we wanna do is get them in key one, key two, and key three, but how do we do that? Well, what you can do here is you can use the sorted methods uh, as described in the slide. And all we're doing is basically taking the empty dict one dot items and basically using this method here called sorted and then applying this dict function to it so when you look at this um it basically gives you this output here okay so now what you've gone from is you've gone from an unsorted dictionary to a sorted dictionary okay so the other scenario that we can use here is called list comprehension okay and all that does is it goes and iterates over the dictionary values and then basically gives you the output. Now, one thing to note is that when it gives you the output, it basically gives you as zero to one and one and two and three. So it's not sorted. So what there's two things we need to do is we need to use the pop function to basically um, change any anything that's the key the key value the key if it's a zero we're going to change it to key two if it's one we're going to change it to key one and if it's two it's going to change to key three so what we that gives us then is gives us this dictionary okay so the zero the one and the two key values are actually have been removed and they're replaced with key two key one and key three but still not sorted so again what we do is we go back to sorting the items again um and we just use it like we use up here you basically use the sorted methods and now the final output is they're all in order and that's how you sort uh, values in dictionaries so that's an example of sorting and how you would explain to do how you would do sorting uh, so let's go back to the next slide okay so you may be asked the question of, well, how do you delete a, a key from a dictionary? Okay. So um, we've just seen in the slide using the pop method. We're just going to go through it again. But there's a pop method and then there's the del keyword method, or we can just use dict.clear. Um, just note as well, obviously, uh, if you move a key, you move its respective value. So you can, you'll never have a scenario where you have remove a key and it just leaves its value. Both of them are linked. So one, the key goes, the value goes. So just be conscious of that if you need that value um, in your program. So if we go back then here, so we've done the sorting. Okay, so again, create an empty dictionary. 
And then we've created, we've added in the values, like we've just explained in the previous how to say you do it. Um, and actually what I'll do is I'll run this slide here. Okay. Right. So first scenario is we have all the keys here. So this this first tier is just creating these first couple of lines down to line eight are creating the dictionary, empty dictionary, adding the values and just printing it out. So that's this line here. Okay. So we want to remove, you want to remove uh, one of the values, okay? So all you do is you go empty dict.pop, and then in the open brackets inside inverted commas, you put in the, the name of the key, okay? In this scenario, we're removing key one. So when this is completed, we're left with key two and key three, and that's what you get on this line here, okay? So there's another way to do this um, is you can essentially use, um, Thing called the del del the del delete and you basically type in del space the dictionary name and then the key name okay so again we we know in this scenario we have key two and key three left so we're telling it to remove key three or key two sorry apologies and when that prints out all you're left is with key three okay so now we only have a dictionary with one value in it so the last thing um basically that you can do is you can just basically tell go to the dictionary and tell it to use the clear function uh, method and basically what that does is it removes everything from the dictionary and when we've used that we know that key three is the last value it's actually run that logic and now what we're left is with a empty dictionary okay so that's how you would delete a key from a dictionary so let's go back to the logic uh, to the slide, should I say, and let's have a look, look at the next slide. So you may be faced with a scenario where you want to basically create more than one key. So we've looked in the previous slide, just delete one key. Now we want to maybe see delete two, three, four, five, whatever. And um, there's a number of ways to do this. So you can create a list to look it up against. Use the pop method again, use the down method again, and Let's go to the code and see how that all comes together. Okay, so we're moving over here. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll run slide eight here. Okay, so let that run for a second. So again, what we've done is um, lines four to 11, we've just created a dictionary empty and then added in keys and printed it out. So that's this first line here. Okay, very straightforward. So what we've done then is because we wanted to move one or more keys in a dictionary, we've created what, what kind of lookup value. So we've basically said this is kind of a lookup list to say these are the keys that when we run our logic in the next couple of lines, this is what we wanted to do, remove the keys we wanted to remove. So we've already um, used the pop uh, methods, right? And what's, what this is basically doing is it's for key, it's we're using the for loop, and it's basically saying for key, okay in dictionary remove so for the key in dictionary remove which is one of these values basically if it's found basically remove it so as we've described in the previous slides and the previous examples pop will just remove it from the dictionary so we've asked it to remove five and six right so we can see five and six are here but when we run that bit of fat for loop we now don't have five or six in it and um, the new the new dictionary now has only two one three and four as you can see on the screen so there is another another way to do this as well and we've just um we've just done it in the um previous slide but we'll reuse it again here but we're going to use it with a for loop is essentially you're going to use a for key a for loop again in dictionary remove but it's basically saying this time around if you find three and four in it remove them all right so we know we have three and four so technically when this logic was run it should leave us with key two and key one and as you can see when we run this the final dictionary values that are left are values key two and key one value key two and key one dic dic names uh, value names so there are a couple of ways to do that. As I said, we've created a lookup list and then we use a for loop and we use pop or a uh, method or we've used the de delete um, functionality to remove those keys and only those specific keys that you don't want in the left in the dictionary if for your program. So let's move on and we're getting close to the end, but you may be asked a question is how do you change the name of a key in a dictionary? 
Well, you can use pop, you use the word pop to remove the old key and sign the new key. Um, note that the values stay the same. So essentially in this scenario, what you're basically doing is you're using the pop, it drops the old key, but it brings in the new key name, but the values associated with the old key name stays the same. You can also use Python zip to change the key value or values you want to change, right? So let's have a look again at the code. This will crystallize this for you. Um, so let's go back here into slide nine. Okay, so let's just run this first of all. Okay, so that's run there now. So let's just make sure, sorry, one second. Yeah, okay. Let's move this down a small bit. There we go. So there's your output. But let's let's go to the code because you're gonna to need to understand the code. So again, we just created a dictionary. Okay, in this scenario, it's not empty, it's it's an actual dictionary. We've printed that out. So there is your dictionary. Okay, Ireland, Dublin, France, Paris, and UK London. But you want an A key with dictionary. So essentially, here, this key name UK, you want to change it to the United Kingdom. So just What's basically happening here in this first example is essentially it's saying, create a new, create a new uh, key value, key name, um, but make it equal to where the 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 current value is UK. So you drop the current value UK, change it to United Kingdom, and then just keep its actual value as London. Okay. So when you look at the second line here in the output. All the other values have remained the same, but UK now, this value here, has actually changed to the United Kingdom, okay? So that's how, in one scenario, you would change a you would change a key name to a different name, okay? So another way to do it is um, you may use a zip to change the value. So what you have here is, again, we have the European countries, you, all in there, Ireland, Dublin, France, Paris, United Kingdom, London, okay? And but essentially, you want to basically update the elements to Ireland, France, and the UK, all right? Uh, so what you would do here is you use a thing called zip, and what basically zip does is it just goes in and updates, it updates the, does the updates the elements, which are these, use these values and populates them in here against the Ireland, France, United Kingdom. but it keeps the list values. And then this line is just reprinting. So what you can see here in this scenario by using zip is now you no longer have Ireland, France, United Kingdom. You have RRE, F4 for France, and UK for the United Kingdom. So that's two different scenarios there where you want to change the name of a key in a dictionary. So let's move back on to the final slide and um you basically may be asked how to get the min and max values max keys and values in a dictionary so you're faced with a scenario where you have you may have a look quite a large dictionary with total values but you want to say well what's the min or the max values um and you may be asked to show an example of how you go with doing this so again i've created a um created a some logic here just to kind of explain this so what we'll do is we'll run this slide okay I'll let that run there right so again what we have is we have a dictionary here it's not empty it's got first one second two third three okay and in this first scenario you want to get the minimum value associated with the key so what we've done here is we just basically use the main function and what we basically says is look at the dict values dictionary and then look at the actual values which would be one two and three and print them out okay so when it looks at this, it prints out its key and its actual value, right? So the minimum value it's found here is first, which is correct, and the value of one, okay? And then what it's basically done here is it's also gone on prompt minimum key, and it's looked at the minimum and base, sorry, so the first line here, apologies, just so I don't confuse things, is this line, output here, and then, the first, the second bit of logic here is basically printing out the key, the key name and the actual key value. The key name, and the actual key value. So there's two ways to do it. You can do it on the values alone, or you can do it on the key. And basically, we found there that these two here represent the minimum values, two different ways, but it will give you the same result. Okay. 
And then if you want to look at the key, it's exactly the same with, well, for max, sorry, the maximum values um, is exactly the same logic. We just, what we do is we've changed it. The min here has been changed to the max. And that's what you get here on these two lines, okay? And basically then what we want to do is we want to look at the, at the physical key. So we these this logic here has been looking more at the values, but we want to look at the keys and get the minimum and maximum key. Um, so the minimum key, again, is just using the minimum function. Um, what we want to do is basically say that the we want to look at the, it tells you to look at the um, dictionary name, but say, look at the keys. So that's where you have the keys here. Um, one second, just do that. Okay, and it's looking at the keys here. Okay, and then what it's doing is, is returning the minimum key name, okay? So the minimum key is first, which is what we expect, okay? And then it's doing the same logic again down here. And basically it is doing it in the, but it's getting the maximum key value. So we know that the maximum key value here is third, three, and it's third. So when we print it out, it actually gives the maximum key value is third. So that is an essence Actually, we'll just minimize this. Sorry, apologies. So that, in essence, is how we... Let's go back to the start. That is how you would... Um, that is how you would go and um, answer some questions on Python um, dictionaries um, if they come up in an interview. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for coming along. Um, this is video two eight two of eight. So I think pretty sure the next one's on lists. Uh, so if you like this, hit the subscribe button. Um, you hit the alert, and you'll get to see um, the next video when it comes out. Uh, I hope you're all keeping well. Take care, and see you soon. Take care. Goodbye.